Temporary out of order. And I just tried to reboot it and it doesn't seem to want to come back up. Um, I just briefly touched the on off button. I didn't hold it, I just briefly touched it. It reboot came up into Windows partway and now the screen is completely black, it seems. Um, I, I, I did not, do you want me to pull the computer out and see if there's any, um, because it's, the thing is, is that as far as I know, I'm the only technician up here and I've, I've never taken the computer out. Um, it, it had, last time I was here, it would not act, let me access the, uh, survey timestamp screen. And so now when I came back, it, it's, it says, it, I've never seen this before, but it, was, uh, it said on the screen, it was temporarily out of service. Um, that the screen was on, now it's completely black. So when I tried to reboot it, apparently it hasn't come back on. Yeah, the, the, the lights are on. The lights are on. And the lights are on on the machine, and the the uh, the modem is getting power. And okay, so this it looks like the computer is off. It turned off. I thought the procedure to reboot was simply pushing the button. Do you want me to push the button again to start it and see what happens? Okay, it's a little hard to see in here. Okay, there it is. Okay, so the screen is starting up again, it seems like. Yeah, okay, we're starting up again. Uh, for some reason, I thought that when we rebooted, we simply touched the, touched the power button and would automatically reboot. Apparently, that shuts it all the way down, and then we need to uh, push the button again to start it. Okay, the screen seems to be starting now fine. Okay. One of the problems I have was to um, get the software. The, it says store will be uh, available shortly. Uh, do you want me to try and log in? Uh, do you, do you want me to close it and then... Oh, it's like I don't... Yeah, exactly. I wanted to set this on the screen, by the way. Uh, it says, please wait, store will be available. Let me, let me see if I can, uh, shut the door and then open it again and then log in. Okay. Okay, so the screen is staying on, please wait, uh, please wait. Uh, store will be available shortly. So it's okay, not. It doesn't allow me to. It doesn't allow me to log in at this point. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna shut the door and let the bucket uh, go through some of its testing. So the main problem that I have is basically. Uh, when I was assigned this, I, told it, I was told it was simply to add product and I was unaware of the fact that it needed a whole upgrade. And so, um, I finally have the upgrade documentation instructions and so I'm trying to uh, get it back on. And the last problem I have, have had was it would not allow me to, um, okay, would not allow me to do the timestamp survey. Okay, so now it's going back into the please wait screen. System has detected warnings. It will attempt to operate normally. Has detected warnings, but will attempt to operate normally. Uh, please report these warnings. And this is PRM 208 BACA machine. PRM 208. PRM 208 BACA. And so the screen is just saying please wait. And then one of the other problems that I have was um, there was an old product on the shelf um, and I only had one box and it seems like 
I'll need two boxes to send all these uh, the push uh, uh, push separators. Okay, now the screen is looking like it's back to normal. Okay, do you want me to try and log in or do you want to access the machine? I'm just trying to log in the use of your credentials. Okay, it seems like it's acting normal now. Why do you think it needed to re be rebooted to uh, get out of that, uh, what, temporarily out of service mode? Oh, okay, it says try again. Let, let, me, uh, let me try this again here. Okay, I'll try it again here. Okay, we're in. So, what next? Okay. Do you have a copy of your documentation? I do. Okay. Um, follow it. Follow it. Stop first step. To make sure that you didn't skip any steps for your... Oh, okay. So, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't tell me what the first step is. Uh, isn't the first step the survey timestamp? Mm -hmm, yes. Yes, okay. Okay, so here we go to advanced menu and then complete survey and then so if we go to advanced menu and This is where I couldn't find it before it did, there's no option to uh, Complete survey on the screen. That's one of the problems that I have No option to complete survey that was the problem I had last time I could not get past that Hello? Yes, I'm still here. And, uh, yes, I'm still here. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, um, for that one, you have, okay, you can proceed with an upgrade. Okay. Um, you mentioned that this is a survey, correct? Okay, so, it says here to complete, um, the login timestamps, uh, and complete survey menu um, I'm looking for the survey the complete survey icon and there's no complete survey icon on the screen so it okay, seems um, like a big okay okay oh okay so now I need some help on this what, what is the next step it says confirm planogram it says confirm plan plan it says confirm planogram. Uh, select hardware tab. The old planogram type is under stock uh, configuration. Okay, so if we look on the screen here, uh, is this uh, hardware tab? I don't see. I only see manage hardware faults. I don't see a. Okay. Um. No William, uh Okay. Excuse me? Do the oh, okay, I can't I can't understand that word. There's a lot of ma l loud music in here. Uh, could you say that again, please? Perform the inventory technician count. Oh, the inventory technician count. Yeah. Okay, so from this screen I do not say I do not see inventory technician count from the screen. Where which screen is it under? Um, you have to perform inventory count on both uh, on both doors, on chamber one, I mean chamber two and chamber three door. 
Okay, so is it in the advanced menu? Because I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to see. It, we're talking about. Do you want me to physically do the count and write it down, or do you want me to record it into the? Okay, so the problem I have right now is there's only one page of the transfer out end of life products and we have several other products here that need to be going out and I don't know how to access that screen. We push continue. So this product, here it is. I've been having a lot of problems with this machine. Um, let me see if I can pull that work order number up for you. Um, it's going to be work order 419-4163. Well, the problem is right now is my been talking to Zoom support for about a half hour and I've already been here for about maybe two hours and they uh, hung up on me. So that's one of the problems uh, and I don't, my phone battery is about ready to die because there's so much loud music and I've been putting my phone on speakerphone and my phone is about ready to die. The main reason why I'm calling is to check out because I'm not getting any help from Zoom and my phone battery is ready to die. Can you check me out? Yeah, well, I go in and going in a loop now. So they have, they have put me in the voice recording loop, and I don't. So going around and around in their voice system. I called to check out, and they're not allowing me to check out. Okay. Okay, back, back talking to him again here. Man. Three eight seven, extension three eight seven, unavailable. Goes right to voicemail. Goes okay. This is William, and uh, I'm working on work order four one nine four one six three, um, and I'm calling to check out. So that's why I called. Calling to check out of this one. This one's going to be uh, check out time is going to be one twenty. 120 Pacific time and so I will call one more time to make sure I'm checked out with a real person but for now I'm out of here this machine is not working right uh, zoom support actually hung up on me or I got disconnected I've been talking to him off and on for about a half hour anyway uh, that's the update on this work order 419-4163 and it is not complete I just don't have all the information the machine doesn't seem to be working very well and that's the way it is